solve the equations in quadratic form. Well, before doing that, let's try to understand how to factor expressions which are on either side of the equation, right? So what I've taken is, I've taken a part of the equation. I've really not shown you the whole equation, right? We'll have examples which will involve these equations. Now, if you see this polynomial, it is x to the power of 4 plus 5x squared plus 9. Can we factor it? It looks like a perfect square, but it is not really. Let's try to analyze it. Let's try to analyze it. So what I will do here is, I'll rewrite this and try to analyze whether it is a perfect square or not. So we have here x to the power of 4 plus 5x squared plus 9, right? So it seems that I could uh, factor it at as like x squared plus 3 whole square. Because 9 is 3 square, right? Let me try to do that. What is x square plus 3 whole square? x square plus 3 whole square will be a square, which is x square square plus 2 times ab, which is 2 times 3 times x square plus b square, which is 3 square, that is plus 9. But the center term here is actually, so if we do that, so we get x to the power of 4 plus 6x squared plus 9. Well, we are one shot. Do you see that? If instead of 5x squared, we had 6x squared, we could have written like this. Right? But we don't have. But what we can do is, we can always add and subtract the same number, okay, or the term. So what we will do, the strategy here is to take away, we need, we have one extra, right? Well, in this case, we have one extra, so we need one extra. So what we will do is we'll add and subtract one extra x squared. So what we will do is we'll add plus x squared to our expression, right? and subtract x square to our expression, which is, let me write down here back, x to the power of 4 plus 5x square plus 9. So what we have done here is, we will add and subtract x square. So this will result in 6x square. Do you see that? So when you combine these terms, when you combine these terms, what do you really get? you get x to the power of 4 plus 6x square. We combine x square with 5x square plus 9 minus x square. Do you see that? So that is the technique which we are going to use here to factor an expression which looks like a quadratic expression, right? So do you see that? Now if you combine these three terms then these three terms are perfect square, like x squared plus 3 whole square, right? So we can write this as x squared plus 3 whole square minus x square. Okay? Now, now this looks like a square minus b square, right? So this could be written as a plus b times a minus b, right? So now I can write this as x squared plus 3 plus x times x squared plus 3 minus x. So see, I have factored my expression which seemed to be very difficult to factor. Do you see that? By this little trick. So that is a very important technique and it helps us to factor. So we got this. Do you see that? Let me start all over again and show you this technique once again to factor the given polynomial, right? So we have x squared plus 5x squared plus 9. So what do we do in such a case? We need to make it a perfect square. So this could be a perfect square if the center term was twice product of a and c, these two terms. So 2 times 3, this is 3 square, right? 2 times 3 gives us 6. So we need 6 here to make it a perfect square. 
we have only 5. So let's do one thing. Let's add 1 extra x square. So that is what I'm going to do in my very first step to factor this kind of an expression. So I have this expression and I add x square and I take away x square. Is it okay? Now, now combining these two terms and then rewriting my expression, right? And that is x to the power of 4 plus 6x square plus 9 minus x square. Do you see that? Now, I can always combine these three terms of the trinomial and write them as a perfect square. So this could be written as x square plus 3 whole square minus x square. Correct? This is like a square minus b square. Let me write here now. a square minus b square, which could be factored as a plus b times a minus b. Now, what is a for me? a is x square, right? And b is 3. Sorry, what is a for me? In this case, a is this and b is this, correct? a is x square plus 3, not x square and 3, okay? So a is x square plus 3. So let me expand it, rather factor it, using a square minus b square is a plus b times a minus b. So we get x square plus 3 minus x. We should write plus first and then minus. Okay, it doesn't really matter. It could be either way, both are correct. But another important step here is, Whenever you write your polynomials, you should write in a way that the exponents of x are in decreasing order. <clears throat> Therefore, we'll rewrite this as x squared plus x plus 3 times x squared minus x plus 3. And that is how we are going to factor the given expression. I hope you now understand how to do this okay so try out one similar thing on your own so that's a problem for you i can give you a problem here and the problem for you is a very similar expression but this time i'll just change few numbers for you let me write this as 6x square and plus 25 right so try this out it should look like a perfect square of x square plus 5, right? Whole square. So try it out. I hope you learn from this technique and you appreciate it. Write down your comments and go through other videos on the playlist how to factor quadratic forms or equations in or how to factor these different polynomials which could be reduced to a quadratic form, right? And then if you have a question here and solve this question, that is x to the power of 4 plus 5x square plus 9 equals to 0. That is the quadratic equation for which I need a solution from you. So try solve this. Okay. Thank you.